This is Ashton from Show Me Vegas, and we left the strip. Well, for now. Welcome to Red Rock Casino Resort and Spa. So we're all checked in here at Red Rock. Not only is this our first time staying here at Red Rock, this is our first time staying off strip in Las Vegas, period. Now we've got it on pretty good authority that if you're going off strip, you can't do any better than Red Rock. And so far from what we've seen, this property is absolutely beautiful. Now we're here in one of their signature suites and this room is absolutely gorgeous. It's over a thousand square feet and we'll give you a room tour a little bit later on in the video. But for now, based on what we've seen downstairs, we cannot wait to get out there and explore this property. So Red Rock has a huge casino. In fact, it rivals just some of the biggest resorts on the Strip. It also offers a lot of things that you don't find on the Strip, like a bingo hall, a kino lounge, and also a really nice poker room. It also has a huge variety of slots, some that are new, some that are old, and we can't wait to play. Let's go. the max bet it, it pays let's go let's fill the screen and win that great no you're gonna link it up right here well we graciously accept One thing you're gonna notice right away about Red Rocks Casino is how packed it is. You know, casinos on the Strip have become really spread out and kind of open. This one looks like an old school casino with slot machines tightly packed. They have so many games here, you are bound to find your game. Something else you're gonna notice in here is the way this casino is laid out. There's all these different little alcoves and nooks to gamble in. You could gamble in six different places in this casino and not feel like you're in the same place. It's actually kind of cool. Something a lot of off-strip properties have that they don't have on the Strip is movie theaters and Red Rock is no different. Regal Cinemas 16 is right behind us here. They've got 16 screens as well as an IMAX. Something else you're going to notice at this casino is not only do they have all the newest slot machines, they also have a ton of old school slots, entire sections devoted to the old school buffalo machines, lots of classic video poker, pretty much everything you're going to want from a slot or video poker standpoint from old all the way up to new. Over here on this end, I'm at Red Rocks Food Court. This is actually a really great food court. It's not McDonald's and Subway like you find in a lot of places. There's a wing stop down here, Fat Burger. There's a pizza place, Rubio's, Capriati's. Just a lot of great food court options down here if you're looking for a quick bite. Now, I said in a previous vlog, I did spend a lot of time in bowling alleys growing up. That creep can roll, man. I know a good bowling center when I see one. This is one right back here, Red Rock Lanes. They've got 72 lanes of bowling, a great lounge, a game room, just an awesome place to hang out if you want to get off the casino floor for a little while.
Over here on this side of the casino, something you don't see all that often. Ooh, that's a bingo. You just say bingo. Bingo, how fun. <laughs> table games here at Red Rock. There are tons of them. You're going to find them all around the center bar here called the Lucky Bar. Tons of table game options and very reasonable table minimums. On a Saturday night here on Memorial Day weekend, there was a $15 double deck blackjack. Six tables in a row I counted and every seat was filled. So clearly, table games are a popular item here at Red Rock. Well, pretty fun afternoon. We got checked in here at Red Rock about 11.30, got all settled in the room, and then went exploring this resort. First impressions about Red Rock? It's beautiful. Beautiful. It, it is. It's a gorgeous property. We had absolutely never been here before, never set foot on this property, and immediately went about getting lost in the <laughs> casino. It's, it's huge. We even it's, got lost in our own hallway. We couldn't find our room. <laughs> That's an embarrassing part she didn't have to point out. Um, yeah, the casino is huge, every bit as big as a strip property, and with every bit the amenities a strip property has, this place is great so far. Tonight, the Vegas Golden Knights take on the Dallas Stars in Game 5 of the Western Conference Finals. We kicked around the idea of going to the game, but we wanted to stay here at this property instead. And so, we're going to watch the game down at the Sportsbook. Big game, chance to clinch, hopefully they can close it out tonight. The Sportsbook downstairs looked great. Yeah. Looks really cool. I, this is more of a locals type of place, so we expect there to be a, quite the atmosphere down there for a VGK game, especially in the playoffs. So, let's go. Back in the room post game, bummer. Vegas did not win tonight, and that series now just got a lot more interesting than we wanted it to. The sports book is great here. It is better than most of the sports books on the strip. It's big, it's spacious, there's a lot of seating. It's just a shame Vegas didn't win tonight to close out that series, but we're not gonna let that dampen our fun here at Red Rock. It's time to go eat. We've actually just had a little bit of food from the food court so far. This property has awesome restaurants, a great lineup tonight. It's going to be Lotus of Siam, the Thai restaurant here. It's only been here for a little while. It looks absolutely beautiful and it draws rave reviews, so we are super excited for that. Time to get ready for dinner and get downstairs and try that. And then after that, we're going to go to the Rouge Room, which is a super cool cocktail lounge. Also pretty new here at the property. So let's talk about this room. So this is a signature suite and it covers more than a thousand square feet. So first is a living room, which has a 65 inch screen TV along with this huge sectional that is super comfortable. So the living room also features a four person dining room table along with a wet bar and a powder room. And here we are in the bedroom. This bedroom is huge. In fact, it's got a king bed in here and this bedroom is so large it makes it look small. There's some seating next to the window along with the desk and another really large TV. Here in the bathroom, it's clad in beautiful white marble throughout. It has double sink vanities as well as a very large mirror and also features a massive jetted tub as well as a water closet and a walk-in shower. Mm -hmm. 
So overall, this room is fantastic. And again, this is a suite, but really the standard rooms here are just as beautiful with a lot of the same decor throughout. It just doesn't have the living room attached. Come closer. Crazy is una loca. Así es que me gusta tú. But tu santa es peligrosa. Bunny, bunny, dosa. Pero con buena actitud. And I tell you, baby, baby, oh, baby. And I like it how you move. Yeah, tonight we are only two. And I tell you, baby, baby. So we got seated here at Lotus as I am. This place is absolutely bumping for nine o'clock on a Saturday night. This place is awesome. It's so cool. The atmosphere is amazing. Yep. And we are Thai food fans, but we like to stick to what we know and what we like. So I'm getting the Thai fried rice and she's going to get the red curry. Mm -hmm. Probably split a salad and have a couple of drinks along with it. No te me pierdas que la noche es loca, loca Yo, bebé, bebé, oh, bebé And I like it how you move Yeah, tonight we are only two And I tell you, bebé, bebé, oh, bebé Vamos donde hay poca luz Do not think you used to do it, do it, oh All right, it's Sunday morning. We are having a great day so far. This hotel has been even more than we expected it to be, and we thought it was going to be pretty great. Last night we ate at Lotus of Siam, then we went to the Rouge Room. What did you think about that? Oh my gosh. So if you ever come out to Red Rock Casino, you have to go to the Rouge Room. It is truly one of the, honestly, one of the best lounges I've ever been to in Las Vegas. It's sexy, it's quaint, it's kind of got that Miami feel to it, I guess you could say. The drinks were awesome as well. And the live entertainment was phenomenal. This morning, we're gonna check out one of the other fabulous amenities they have here at Red Rock, and that is a world-class spa. We have appointments for spa treatments this morning. After that, we're gonna go to the pool, which is another great feature of this property. Today is all about R&R here at Red Rock before we have a phenomenal dinner tonight.
Okay, we're back from the spa and the pool. First things first, what did you think about the spa? I thought the spa was fantastic. Um, had tons of different amenities you can use. The staff was friendly. Honestly, one of the best spa experiences I've had in Las Vegas. The massages were great too. They were awesome. Super so, good. Shout out to the therapists down there at the spa. They did a great job. This is a great spa and it's another thing that makes this just a relaxing property overall. After that, we went to the pool and we had a cabana down at the pool. The pool here is outstanding. Yeah, the pool is, well, there's several different pools that make up the pool complex, but in all honesty, I thought the vibe was awesome. The music was great. It was pretty busy, but it was a holiday weekend. Yeah, the main pool is beautiful with that fountain, and then there were a bunch of pools that go out, including the one in front of our cabana. Hey, if you're gonna go to the pool in Las Vegas, the cabana is the way to go for the ultimate pool day. And now we're back in the room, and our time is quickly running out on this day. It was just a little bit less than 48 hours here. We've yet to eat at their signature restaurant, and that's where we're going tonight. It's called T-Bones Chop House. It's their steakhouse here at Red Rock, and we've heard great things about it. Yeah. back from dinner and I don't know if you can tell but we are ragged just tired absolutely ragged okay so we're back home if you couldn't tell we were just totally gassed that last night in Las Vegas we looked terrible the cliff turned out terrible so we decided we better just get home collect our thoughts about the stay and then wrap this up so first things first we really want to thank Red Rock and Station Casinos for inviting us out absolutely we had a great time so overall our thoughts about this property let's start with dinner since we didn't get to finish that up dinner at t-bones was was it was outstanding it was it was everything i think we thought that uh it was it was played up to be um the crab cakes they're really known for their crab cakes and those were great if you go there absolutely get the crab cakes and they're then, a meal in itself <laughs> oh yeah we were almost full by the time the steak came out and of course we got the t-bone because if you're going to a steakhouse called t-bones you've got to get the t-bone and we did and it did not disappoint it was outstanding service was great the environment was great those shots i showed were after dinner and it was like 10 30 p.m by then that's why it looked so empty the place was full when we got there yeah. at about nine o'clock so uh clearly very popular and we see why so our thoughts overall about red rock so we thought it was a great overall property. It reminded us just like being on the strip. I mean, it had so many different restaurants, lounges, bars, casino was huge. In all honesty, I thought it was great. It had a ton to offer and we could be there for a couple days, no problem. It really did. It's like she said, just like on the strip, a luxury property on the strip. It's, it is priced that way. Rooms at Red Rock, the standard rooms are gonna go from about $250 on up, depending on days of the week and time of year. Summer obviously is a busy season. It is more of a locals casino. We noticed the casino floor was very crowded at times. Again, holiday weekend, so that's going to be expected. But it did put off more of a locals vibe. Now, when I say locals, Red Rock is situated in Summerlin, which is a very high-end neighborhood in Las Vegas. It is the place to be yeah. if you're living in Las Vegas and have money. So it matches the neighborhood beautifully. So would we recommend it to you guys? Well, that depends. If you're a Vegas veteran and you've been to Vegas several different times and have always stayed on the Strip or on Fremont, I absolutely would. It has a whole new experience out there in Summerlin, and I would absolutely recommend for especially Vegas veterans. A very relaxing experience. It's not the type of place I would tell a Vegas first-timer to come because it is just so far from the Strip. It took about, what, 20 minutes 25 or minutes or so from Delano when we rode out there. Anywhere on the Strip, it's going to take you 20 to 30 minutes to uh, ride down there in a car and a cab or an Uber is not going to be terribly cheap. So if the Strip is a must for you, we wouldn't recommend it. But if you're looking for a different type of Las Vegas experience, you've done it all on the Strip, maybe even downtown, and you're looking for maybe more of a relaxing vacation in Las Vegas, this is your place. And uh, I don't think you'll be disappointed at all. 
So that's it for this video. Please be sure to like and subscribe. As well as turn on that notification bell so you don't miss any of our videos in the future. We've been a little bit of a lull lately, but, we're, but we have been back to Vegas and we've got new videos on the way. We should resume our weekly uploads very shortly. Hey, thanks as always for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next one because there's always more for us to show you. On Show Me Vegas. Bye, guys.